Hey coin collectors and welcome to DC Coin World International Coin Channel. And what have we here? We know it's from one of the United Kingdom Commonwealth countries because this is not a portrait that's found on United Kingdom coins. I'll give you a hint, it's from 1964, but it is not a Hong Kong coin uh, or one of the other British Commonwealth coins that used this portrait. This is actually a Cecil Thomas portrait who engraved some of the coins from Canada and other co countries throughout the world. I believe he had some a hand in engraving the loonie, the one dollar coin from Canada. It says Elizabeth II, Dia Gratia Regina, Elizabeth II by the grace of God, Queen. And here's a United Kingdom coin from that era. Elizabeth II, Dia Gratia Regina, same words, but it doesn't have the, um, the cross. And then, of course, in 1964, there would have been the Mary Gillick first portrait on all United Kingdom coins, not the Cecil Thomas portrait, the crowned Queen Victoria. And look at this little kind of hairdo that she has here. It's just beautiful hair um, and got the necklace. So this, of course, is not a United Kingdom coin. It has a milled edge and we flip it over. We see that it's from Bermuda. This is Bermuda at the top, one on this side, crown on this side. 19 on this side, 64 on this side. And you can probably tell a little bit from the sheen here that this is not a copper nickel coin. This is actually a 50% silver coin. So what is it and what's it got on it? Well, it's got a red lion. And you can see the lion here with the tongue out. We've seen it on some Scottish um, shillings from the United Kingdom. We see the claws here and claws here holding the shield up and then the feet down here, clawed feet down here. And inside we see there is a ship um, that looks like it's crashing against uh, the shore. And that's because that's exactly what that portrait is. So this is a red lion. Oh, and down here at the bottom, this is Bermuda grass. So that makes some sense. And this is a really interesting thing here because I'm not even sure what it means. This is a George Kruger Gray um, engraving, but I don't, these, these initials don't look the same as his regular initials, so I'm not exactly sure what this CC or GC down here was, or maybe it's a GG. But if somebody can tell me what these, uh, this in, whether this is the initials, the engraver or not, because that's not the George Kruger Gray that I've seen on some of the Canadian and other world coins. So what's going on here? Well, in 1609, a bunch of people boarded a ship called the Sea Venture, and they were going to Jamestown, where the um, Great Britain was trying to colonize uh, the New World in Virginia, kind of take over um, and get some uh, colonies in the New World. And this ship made it within a couple hundred miles of Virginia and then crashed in Bermuda. So all the people on the Sea Venture went onto the island of Bermuda, and it took about 10 months for them to get off and go back, um, uh, go over to um, Jamestown. Now, where did the picture come from? Well, in 1640, about 31 years after the crash, a Dutch cartographer made this particular um, engraving uh, for a map, and his name was William Jansen Bloor, and he was um, trying to show where Bermuda was on the map, and he used this um, engraving to show where Bermuda was on the map, a ship crossing on the shore a little ways off the shore of, uh, the, of the eastern coast of the United States. So what is it? What's it worth? Well, it's a 50% silver coin. So in um, silver value alone, because this coin is heavy, it, it weighs 22.62 grams. It's 36 millimeters in diameter and it is 50% silver, so that means it's worth almost $10 just in silver value alone. It is a one crown coin. Um, one crown equals five shillings, or this was essentially a quarter dollar, or a quarter pound sterling, one fourth of, this was the one fourth coin that the United States calls a quarter. Obviously much bigger, um, much more expensive, um, in terms of the silver. And of course, a British pound was worth much more than a dollar back then. Now, when we look at the um, bottom of this, we see that it says 
quo fata ferant. Uh, and that's a quote from the Virgil's Aeneid, um, which is a essentially an adventure novel um, from uh, Virgil thousands of, almost 2,000 years ago, or certainly 15, 15 or 1,800 years ago, Virgil wrote this novel of adventure called the Aeneid, and in it he said, he used the Latin and said, whither the fates carry us. In other words, let the wind blow us where we go, or let the fates blow us or move us where we go. And his, um, so when Bermuda had this ship crash here, and this is actually part of the Bermuda um, coat of arms, the official coat of arms, um, which they adopted in 1910. Um, they used it to essentially show that, I mean, some people just ended up in Bermuda by no choice of their own, uh, simply because of a hurricane or some other reason. And Bermuda has always been very welcome to people from away who come to visit. All right, well, that's all we have today from DC Coin World International Coin Channel. We'd love to have you subscribe to our channel and leave any comments you might have in the comments section.